All right, let's take a look at Papilio SOC. It's a new schematic based um, way to design system on chip for the Papilio. Uh, so go into example SOCs, do the Papilio SOC base, open up the project in ISE. And then uh, open up the schematic. Uh, you'll see a base system uh, that just has empty devices in the wishbone slots. And actually, one of the first things you need to do once you open the schematic is go to Tools, Symbol Library Manager, and you need to point this to whatever folder you downloaded. Um, point it to the Xilinx libs directory. And then that will pull all the symbols uh, all the available Papilio SOC symbols into the uh, the symbol library. <clears throat> so now let's say we want to add a, a UART. You just select the symbol. Uh, you drop it, and then uh, pull this down a little bit. Delete the empty device and then just drag and drop the UART on there like so and then if you wanted to attach that UART directly to uh, the COM ports, the USB COM ports you would have to hijack these pins uh, so delete them and I'm not too uh, fluent with the schematic editor yet so there's probably easier ways to do this but um, this is what I know to do right now Uh, so you want to rename this and actually you want to make this match what's in the UCF. Okay, so now let's say you wanted to add something else, like uh, let's say we wanted to add the YM2149 audio chip. We could just drop it like this, and then uh, we need to make room, so let's just move this over here, and then let's pull this down a bit, delete that empty device, attach it like this and there we go um, this is not a complete system because we need to add a uh, this is raw audio out or it's digital audio out we would also need to add a um, Delta Sigma DAC uh, which that probably needs more work we've got this one but it's a, a wishbone one uh, I probably need to provide a component for just a simple Delta Sigma DAC that doesn't attach to wishbone um, but anyway, this gives you kind of the idea of uh, how the system works and uh, types of things you could do. So let's just actually let's do uh, all right. That's it. Thank you for watching.